Sunday salutations, everyone. What's happening? And even more to the point, who's the P-N-N-I-T-C-A-S? P-N-N-I-T-C-A-S? Person not normally in the college age skit. <laughs> oh, that's just not. It's cold outside. Aren't there enough seats out there? He's here by invitation. Besides, all are welcome here anyway. But today we're still celebrating College Student Sunday from a couple weeks ago. And since he's one of our college students in the college group, and one of our ushers all morning, we invited him to be here with us today. As long as he keeps quiet. John! Well, you have to admit, college kids can be a bit obnoxious, if you know what I mean. Always thinking they know everything, and so young and smiley, and... And on top of that, being a bit self-righteous. After all, that's my job. Mine too! Would you two be quiet? You're not being very welcoming. Now say something nice. Hi, Matt. Thanks for stopping by and smiling. Do it again sometime. Bye. No, no, no. You can stay. We're about to play TGIF. You can play too. TGIF, as in, thank God it's Friday? But it's not Friday. TGIF, as in the I'm Grateful For game. The I'm Grateful For game. But wouldn't that be T-I-G-F instead of T-G-I-F? Yeah, but would you play a game you've never heard of before? <laughs> never mind. So how do you play? It's easy. You just take turns saying something you're grateful for. Oh, well, that sounds easy. Ah, but it has to be something that no one here has ever heard someone say they were thankful for before. The point of the game is to stretch the boundaries of thankfulness. You know, as in one of those occasional homework assignments from the pulpit. Everyone can be thankful for their family, or for their friends, and their pets, and the puppet show, and this college age skit. But it takes imagination to be thankful for... 1,500 per square inch. 1,500 what? 1,500 per square inch. Hairs, that is. It's the density of my luxurious facial hair. <laughs> the human average is 1,250, but I've never been average in anything. Anyway, I'm thankful for my luxurious beard. People do find it quite remarkable. Abe Lincoln-esque, actually. And it keeps me warm in the winter. And I'll bet you've never heard anyone say that before. Who's next? Me. I thought he was going to keep quiet. I know. How about 840? Is that the number of fuzzy things on your hat? John! No, it's the number of days I've attended MSU. I'm thankful for my education there, for the professors who have supported me, and for the vision of the people who created it in the first place. Let's see, it's my turn. I'm thankful for the letter J. The letter J? Yeah, the letter J. Because without it, instead of being Janelle, I'd be Ardell. And that just sounds weird. <laughs> And besides that, instead of praying to Jesus, we'd be praying to Jesus. And that sounds foreign somehow. Also, how would we jump for Jesus without Jake's? Or show joy? Boy. Um, good one, Adele. I mean, Chanel. Well, I guess it's my turn. Hmm. I'm thankful for all this congregation. <laughs> what? We've heard that before. Oh, okay then. I'm thankful for this church. <laughs> but I am! Oh, alright. Then I'm grateful for God's love, holding us all so tight. <laughs> this is ridiculous! I'm not gonna sit here and make up some weird little bizarre thing to say that I'm thankful for just because of this silly game. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Michaela, but we've heard you complain like that before, too. <sighs> well, then... When I look around me here, it reminds me how grateful I am to be living here in Bozeman. Wait, wait until I'm finished before you judge. I'm grateful to live in this beautiful place and to be a member of this church in our college group, which have meant so much in the past few years, because this is a place where God's love shines around us, like sun on the snow, and where kids grow up with love, where we share that love with this community and all around the world. I'm grateful to be in a place where we can all grab hands like this and support each other and be thankful together for God's many gifts to us. Wait, wait, wait. And I'm thankful I can say, Bibbidi 
bobbity and hoo hop wop she bob ski daddle. You may never heard a prayer end like that before, Buster. <laughs> Good one, Michaela. And we're thankful for all that too. And for you. And for Matt and all the college students. And everyone here. And for the chance to be saying this together again. And, and now, is this going to be another great day to give God thanks for what? <laughs>